Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, February 4th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had a little bit of angry uh, bears coming out and um, really messed up the technicals of these charts. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today on this Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, doggone it, we had some, honestly, some serious technical damage being created in the charts yesterday with that sell-off and worries about what might happen with Amazon. Now, Amazon came out with really good reports, and so some of this technical damage may be repaired today, but we still have a jobs number just around the corner this morning that could really throw a monkey wrench into everything. Let's take a look at um, this Dow chart. And as you can see, we have officially made a lower high in this downtrend um, of the Dow. And as you can see, we have rejected, at least at this point, this resistance level right across through here in the chart. And unfortunately, that happens to have occurred right around that 50-day moving average and notice that we failed here at the 50-day moving average and honestly one of my favorite shorting patterns for stocks is this pattern and that is what we call a blue ice failure pattern and notice that we have our shorter term moving averages have crossed down in here and we've created a substantial price resistance area and technical resistance area in the chart. And unfortunately, we see a little bit more selling in the diamonds this morning coming in as we head toward that jobs number. And you can see this morning, we could gap down and be below that 200 day moving average if this um, continues after we hear what the monthly jobs numbers are going to be. So take a look at this as well. We also have a pattern here that I know no one really wants to wants to see, but we are starting to develop a head and shoulders top here in um, the diamonds chart. Um, could be an ugly situation. We've got a lot of work to recover or repair some of this technical damage in the chart. And unfortunately, going into this weekend with the uncertainty out there uh, on these earnings reports and that um, tension that continues to grow um, between the uh, Russian and Ukraine border, um, it may be difficult for those, it's gonna be a lot of work anyway for those bulls to be able uh, to fight off um, these bears. Could be a rough day today, depending on how those jobs numbers come out. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. Now, unfortunately, our SPY, very much a similar situation and th the fact that we have now officially created a lower high in this downtrend in the chart and created quite a little bit of resistance um, and price resistance here in that chart as well. And we didn't quite make it up to the 50 day moving average. Notice that we failed before we even got there and we failed right in this area where we've got all this technical and um, price action um, resistance in the chart. So that overhead resistance when we're this volatile in the market, we really have to respect that and just realize that you can only push so far in one direction in these snap rallies that um, and, and then other trouble can come into play creating some damage. So again, we have that potential failure here at the 50 day moving average. And that is one of my favorite shorting patterns in the market. Now we're still holding above our uh, 200 day moving average. And like I said, we may get some of the damage repaired here because we had such good earnings from Amazon and Snap last night. That could help um, 
uh, pick things up here a little bit, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Uh, if that jobs number really comes in bearish, as they might be suggesting, we could see that selling intensify and um, we could even slip through that 200 day moving average. So watch that carefully. What I'd like to see is that we would hold this little support area in here, push down and then hold um, if you're bullish on the market. If you're bearish on the market, you want to see that thing just crash right through and we move on through and set new lows in the market. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now QQQ, even a worse technical situation here um, in this chart, if you notice right through here, that downtrend is extending and obviously we still have other downtrends here in this chart to consider. But um, obviously this is not the situation that everyone was hoping for um, around earnings events. And we failed here at a price resistance level in the chart and actually a, quite a significant level of price resistance and then failing below our 200 day moving average. That does kind of suggest that possibility that we could push on down for new lows in the market. But then Amazon coming in yesterday and Snap coming in yesterday with good reports we have um, we have that possibility, okay, that possibility that we could um, bounce and repair some of that damage. So for the bulls, we want to see, um, if you're bullish on the market, we want to see this push back up and challenge that 200-day moving average again. Um, and we'll want to be watching that closely as... Um, as that does. But notice that our 50 day moving average here is diving pretty quickly. And you also saw that in the diamonds. If we were to continue to sell here in the market, it really wouldn't take a whole lot much more time before the, our 50 crosses down through that 200 here in the diamond. So watch closely. And then last but not least, the Russell. I got to tell you, there's just nothing bullish about the Russell here at all. Um, failing at another low, uh, continuing to push down. We have multiple downtrends. We have massive amounts of price resistance above. And the technical damage just continues to worsen here on the chart. Notice 50 crossing down through the 200. Our short term averages are diving really quickly here to create a price resistance level um, right in, and technical resistance level right in that one year's worth of consolidation. So the Russell's got a lot of work to do here. A um, lot of questions here and that possibility, if you're bearish on the market, that possibility that we could see new lows in the Russell um, looks pretty, pretty good. And um, also, unfortunately, when we look out here where the next level of price support is, it's way down here in the chart. So um, keep a close eye on that if we were to fail through this area right here. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now our VIX spiked up a little bit yesterday, but I got to tell you, um, you, you might be able to take a little bit of a um, relaxing breath here because the selling yesterday, although it was pretty damaging technically and created um, lower highs in the market, it, we didn't really see a major spike in fear, which you would have thought would have come along with it. However, what we did end up doing, I'm going to pull this back again, and you know I've been talking about this 20 handle area in the chart. We did hold on to that 20 handle area as support, and we continued to hold on to that little uptrend here in the VIX. So watch that um, closely. If this continues to push on up, that could be a problem for us. But um, the fact that we really didn't spike hard in fear yesterday shows maybe that fear may be softening here just a little bit overall in the market. And that could be hopeful for those bulls. Let's take a look at a um, our T2122. Now T2122, um, this was that level up here yesterday I was talking about where, you know, sometimes when we push up too far too fast, we can get that reverse reaction back to the downside. And notice here um, how we closed T2122 yesterday. We still left that uncertainty um, in, in that downside. And with that jobs number coming today, that could be a problem for us. If that 
um, really brings out those bears, then we have that possibility we could continue to extend this on down and complete um, this for that bullish re or bullish reversal zone and that oversold condition in the short term. So these big snap ups and snap downs, it's just run in, race into the market or run for the door. Seems to be the only thing we can do nowadays with this wild volatility that we see here in the market. Hopefully we can get some cooler heads here eventually to calm down some of that. But with these downtrends in play, we're really going to have to see those bulls step up in a big way to repair some of this technical damage. Now, if we can get some positive information day or some bullish feeling coming in here today, we have opened up a considerable upside opportunity here um, in the T2122. Unfortunately, all of the projections on um, that jobs number this morning are pretty bearish. Um, perhaps we just ignore it. Perhaps um, markets, because they projected this out so far, so much here recently, perhaps we just ignore it. But then we still have that uncertainty as we slide into the weekend with Russia and Ukraine. So kind of keep that in mind. It may be difficult for those bulls to overcome some of the bears um, with those uncertainties heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108, um, obviously saw some pressure yesterday pushing back, but you can be, you know, maybe hold on to a little bit of hope here that we're getting, um, we're rep building a little bit of a bottom in here on the market. And that's just because we didn't sink all the way back down and crack down through those lows. However, overall in this chart, this is not a bullish chart. And um, certainly we have resistance levels above that are continuing to work. And we have downtrends in the chart that um, are pretty darn bearish. And if you look uh, about 25% of our stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. Let's take a look at the T2107. T2107 also experiencing that pressure, pulling back, rejecting this level. But again, we didn't make new lows. So uh, maybe, maybe you can hold your breath and hope that we get a positive reaction out of that jobs number today and um, the the levity that we have seen from uh, Amazon and Snap and a few other companies might pick us up and help just a little bit. But I got to tell you this overall downtrend and these resistance levels in the chart continue to show a pretty bearish picture here with only about 30% of our companies holding above the 200 day moving average. Our T2101 the absolute market breadth. Notice that the breadth actually picked up to the upside yesterday with that selling. And that's kind of typical. We see that breadth normally push up and give us a little energy on a selling wave. So we're holding some of these support levels in this chart. And if we were to get an additional push in selling here today, that could really start to spike up. So watch that carefully. If those bulls find some inspiration, maybe we'll soften that up and bring that back down a little bit. But watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, what I've been talking about all morning here is this um, employment situation number and the government's been projecting for a week or more that this could be a bad number. Uh, there are now some estimates out there suggesting as many as, uh, an, well, that we could drop by as many as 400,000 um, uh, jobs um, last month. So watch that closely. It really all depends on how that number comes in and how the market reacts to it, what our day might look like today. But obviously, um, I think for the most part, everyone is expecting this to be an ugly number here this morning. So watch that closely. Um, after that, not much going on. And then on the earnings calendar, we have a break as well. On that earnings calendar, we only have about 40 companies that are actually confirmed in their reports. And although there are some important reports um, on the calendar for today, they're really not the big market moving reports that we've seen here recently. So we got a little bit of a break. 
We're going to hear from ADP today. Keep an eye on that. That could be important. Notice trying to catch a little bottom here and hold a little higher low. So that could be an, uh, an important report for that stock. Um, we're going to hear from AON. AON been in an ugly little downtrend here. But insurance has been interesting. There's been a lot of insurance companies holding up pretty strongly. So a little higher low in here. Watch that carefully. Uh, BMY may be one of the most notable of the day. We'll want to keep an eye on that. It's been trying to pop this area, and you guys know I've been talking about it for a while as a possible trade. Um, watch that carefully as it reports. Um, we're going to hear from CBOE, the CBOE today, um, whether or not, I, I assume, all the all the active trading um, we would think would, would help the CBOE as they collect uh, money for all the data that they're pu uh, pushing out there, but watch that. Um, we've got ETN this morning. We're going to see um, REGN um, reporting today, SNY, and SPB. Those would be the notables that I put on the list for today. Keep in mind there are others on that list, but they're not particularly notable um, this morning. So if you um, remember, if you ever want to catch the full list of these or go over them again, you can click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get those numbers. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos well you know what to do click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful to be helpful if you could please click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments and i know doing it every day is just kind of like ugh, just another task but it really does help and i truly truly appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that it it helps the channel to grow and um, if you also find this uh, video useful enough that you might want to share it out there on your um, social media feeds i would truly appreciate that as well um and thanks again to everyone who continues to support the channel through buy, buy Me A Coffee link. That's below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. And I'm getting closer and closer to some changes here um, in the channel um, where I will be doing some live, um, live YouTube um, um, events and training here in the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, you might get some notifications here soon of some tests for some live um, live training out here um, from uh, Rightway Options. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would suggest being very, very careful this morning, particularly there could be an awful lot of volatility and you should never, ever, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas without um, a full knowledge of the risk of those trades. So follow your rules um, in any of these trades. Let's take a look. Um, Coke is uh, a chart that I was kind of paying attention to yesterday and you guys know that I had mentioned it in the morning prep video um, on Thursday and you can see right here we finally broke through that area right there and we're trying to push through. Got a little pop and drop going on in it today just because of the pressure that's in the Dow but watch that carefully. We're seeing a few of these defensive sector stocks um, holding on to some gains. So watch that closely if Coke can push on up might be worth keeping an eye on. I, I've also got to throw Pepsi into that mix. Now, Pepsi not quite as bullish here in that chart and maybe just a little bit more volatile. Notice all these wicks and tails in this chart. It just looks like Pepsi's grown hair here for some reason with all these wicks and tails. But if it can push on up through this area here, may have some opportunity to see some bullishness come into that. Um, we did see some other stocks like Mondelez searching, uh, surging back here now obviously we broke some support here in this chart and failed so this chart is not bullish to me um, I don't try to pick bottoms and I don't try to and I don't worry about market tops 
um, what I want to do is see a good technical pattern to trade. So for example, when we break a support level, I want to see that stock recover that support, prove to hold it, and then show me the bullishness. Now I have a resumption of uptrend that I can trade. So keep a close eye on Mondelez. It may be coming around. You might want to watch that closely. Take a look at Ford. Um, looks like Ford, guys, could be a confirmed short this morning, gapping a little bit lower on its earnings reports. Notice this is a very big level of price support and we are gapping below that this morning and working into this downtrend. You might want to keep an eye on that. Ford might be a pretty good short on the day. Watch that one closely. Um, let's take a look at some really stable stocks like VMware. Now I know it's not moving fast and I know it's not um, giving you great big profits and really quick moves. But you know what? I really kind of appreciate that when we have this slow and steady um, uh, move up here in a chart like VMware um, when the market is so unstable and volatile. So keep an eye on this. VMware might slide out here toward this trend. Remember, we have this possible gap that could be filled um, in the chart. And there is some price resistance in that chart to be concerned about. But overall, all, that's a pretty darn good looking chart without tons and tons of volatility um, to cause you trouble when the market is just so wild. And then take a look at VALE. Um, I've been talking about this one for quite some time. As you guys know, um, my first alert on this was down in here. And as you can see, um, we're just continuing to move up in this nice little upside trend. Um, very stable, kind of ignoring the overall volatility of the market. That to me is a good thing when the market's like this. If you're looking for long trades, um, might be something you want to keep an eye on. Take a look at Pfizer. Now, P FE has been struggling around in here, but I got to tell you, um, I still think, whoops, I still think Pfizer sets up for a potential uh, downtrend. Notice right in here, we've been failing along this area and we're struggling with this resistance here in the chart. Watch that closely. If the bears come in and they push this down right in here, that could certainly set up more downside here in Pfizer. Um, I would I would watch that closely for that potential. Um, overall, in the technical or um, tech sector, guys, there's quite a few stocks that dog on it just don't look very good. Even um, even the big rebound here in AMD. Notice um, we pushed up strongly here in AMD, but doggone it, we're in a downtrend. And notice right in here, that is a pretty substantial resistance area. And we have reversed from that area, that possibility that some of these big techs are going to struggle here with their valuations. Um, just watch that closely. There is that possibility that could continue to move on down. So, oh my goodness, there's a lot of charts out here showing some bearishness. Take a look at like GDX. Some of the gold miner stocks um, definitely setting up in failure patterns where we run into resistance in the chart, showing some potential failure here to the downside, continuing to move along um, in those charts. Um, if you look at um, copper, um, man, FCX. Um, having some real trouble here. We've rallied back up into this resistance area in the chart. Um, that's obviously not the place we want to be. Um, and as you can see, if we continue to fail along this area, um, that could be really damaging here. So watch that closely here in FCX as a possible short. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Keep a really close eye. Um, there could be quite a lot of volatility this morning, depending on how these job numbers come out. And then just remember, as we're sliding into the weekend, we still have that uncertainty out there of the Russian-Ukraine border and whether or not those tensions will actually explode into uh, a conflict over there. So um, that will affect the market. We could, we could go into the weekend and feeling pretty good about it and have a Saturday or Sunday invasion begin and everything changes over the weekend. So consider that risk very carefully. So with that, I wish you all the best. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best.